In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NFL games happening on October 22, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NFL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Buffalo Bills vs. New England Patriots In Week 7 of the NFL season, an intense matchup unfolds in Foxborough as two American Football Conference East rivals battle for victory. The Buffalo Bills hit the road as they prepare to face the New England Patriots on a Sunday afternoon. In their previous game, Buffalo secured a 14-9 home win over the Giants but failed to cover the spread despite being heavy 15 and a half-point favorites. Meanwhile, the New England Patriots suffered a 21-17 defeat on the road against Las Vegas, coming up short as three-point underdogs. Historically, the Patriots hold a 76-48-1 advantage in regular season matchups, yet the Bills have claimed victory in five of the last six encounters, including a 35-23 home win on January 8th. The Buffalo Bills enter this game following a narrow 14-9 win over the New York Giants, elevating their season record to 4-2. Quarterback Josh Allen has thrown for 1,576 yards, 13 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions with an impressive 71.7% completion rate. James Cook leads the Bills in rushing with 363 yards, while Stephon Diggs is the top receiver with 49 receptions for 620 yards and 5 touchdowns. Additionally, Gabe Davis has contributed 21 receptions for 341 yards and 4 scores, with 3 more players surpassing 100 receiving yards. On the defensive side, Terrell Bernard stands out with a team-high 57 total tackles, 2 sacks, and 2 interceptions. Leonard Floyd leads in sacks with 6.5, and A.J. Epp Vanessa and Ed Oliver have both recorded four sacks this season. The New England Patriots are in dire need of a win, as they currently hold a 1-5 record this season. In their last game, they suffered a 21-17 loss to Las Vegas. Quarterback Mac Jones has passed for 1,208 yards, with five touchdowns and seven interceptions on a 64.2% completion rate. Ramonder Stevenson is the leading rusher with 234 yards and two touchdowns, and Kendrick Bourne tops the receiving chart with 28 receptions for 307 yards and two touchdowns. Five more Patriots have accumulated over 100 receiving yards this season. On defense, Kyle Duggar leads with 41 total tackles, while the injured Matthew Judon has a team-high four sacks. The Patriots, as a unit, have combined for 12 sacks and two interceptions this season. Both the Bills and the Patriots are grappling with offensive struggles. In their recent game against the Giants, the Bills had difficulty moving the ball and secured a narrow victory. However, led by Josh Allen, one of the NFL's top quarterbacks, the Bills' offense is expected to rebound against the struggling Patriots. The Patriots have struggled to force turnovers and currently allow the ninth most points in the league. The Patriots face uncertainty with rookie quarterback Mac Jones, whose performance has regressed. Their offense is struggling to score points, while their defense is unable to prevent their opponents from scoring. This unfavorable combination poses a significant challenge for the Patriots. Although the Bills had their share of issues against the Jaguars and the Giants, they have dominated the Patriots in recent seasons. After a season opening upset by the Jets, the Bills are unlikely to underestimate a division rival on the road. The Patriots have been struggling on the offensive side of the ball, failing to score more than 17 points in any of their last five games. Injuries have further impacted the Patriots, particularly with top pass rusher Matt Judon and cornerback Christian Gonzalez on injured reserve. This game provides an opportunity for the Bills to regain their form, given that they remain in the top five in the league in both scoring offense and scoring defense. When considering this matchup, it becomes apparent that the Bills are likely to capitalize on their recent dominance. So the Buffalo Bills to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. 
Despite their offensive firepower, Buffalo has witnessed the underhitting in four of their six games this season. In particular, their true road games against the Jets and the Commanders went under the total, with 38 and 40 points scored, respectively. The game against Jacksonville also fell short of the total, with the teams combining for 45 points. On the other hand, New England has gone under the total in five of their six games this season, with five straight undares since the season opener against Philadelphia. Considering both teams' offensive struggles and the expected defense battle, it is likely that the offenses will face challenges. Anticipate a game in which neither team runs away with the score. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Atlanta Falcons vs. Tampa Bay Buccaneers In a high-stakes clash for the National Football Conference South title, the Atlanta Falcons hit the road to face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Atlanta is coming off a disappointing 24-16 home loss to the Commanders, where they fell short as one-and-a-half-point favorites. Tampa Bay also faced a National Football Conference opponent at home and lost 20-6 to the Lions as three-point underdogs. It's important to note that these teams split their matchups last season, with the home team emerging victorious each time, but it's worth mentioning that Tom Brady was part of the Buccaneers in those games. Last week, Atlanta struggled against Washington, largely due to Desmond Ritter, who threw three interceptions. Ritter completed 28 of 47 passes for 307 yards, two touchdowns, and three interceptions. The running game also faced challenges, with Tyler Algier accumulating 51 yards on 13 carries and Vigen Robinson rushing for 37 yards on 13 carries. Despite these offensive struggles, the Falcons have decided to stick with Ritter. This season, Atlanta is averaging a mere 16.5 points per game, ranking 29th in the NFL. The Falcons are also averaging 233.66 passing yards per game and 119 rushing yards per game. Notably, their performance at home is slightly better, with Ritter averaging 252.5 passing yards and the offense gaining 135.75 rushing yards per game. Defensively, the Falcons allow an average of 20 points per game ranking 14th in the NFL. They permit opponents to throw for just 191.16 passing yards and rush for 99 yards. On the other hand, Tampa Bay faced a lopsided defeat at home against the Detroit Lions. Baker Mayfield completed 19 of 37 passes for 206 yards and one interception, while Ratchod White rushed seven times for 26 yards. Mike Evans had a quiet game with only four receptions for 49 yards. The Buccaneers' offense is currently ranked 25th in the NFL. NFL, averaging 18 points per game. They also average 217.6 passing yards per game and 78.8 rushing yards per game. The Buccaneers have struggled to reach 21 points in three out of five games this season. In contrast, the Buccaneers' defense has been impressive, allowing just 18 points per game, ranking eighth in the NFL. While they concede an average of 265 passing yards per game, they excel in run defense, holding opponents to just 83.8 rushing yards per game. Tampa Bay has also recorded six interceptions and 15 sacks this season. Tampa Bay holds the edge with a superior quarterback, a more robust scoring defense, and home field advantage. Baker Mayfield has been rejuvenating his career in Tampa and boasts better statistics, including more touchdowns and fewer interceptions compared to Desmond Ritter. Mayfield's QBR ranks eighth in the league, while Ritter trails behind at 25th. In divisional matchups, defenses tend to tighten up, and Ritter has committed six turnovers in his last three games, while Tampa ranks in the top three in turnover differential. The Buccaneers allow only 18 points per game, whereas the Falcons concede 20 points. Atlanta's primary offensive threat, Vigen Robinson, faces a formidable Tampa Bay defense ranked seventh in the NFL against the run, allowing just 83.8 yards per game. Vita V is a standout run stopper who will play a crucial role in shutting down Atlanta's rushing attack. Ritter has yet to establish a reliable connection with Kyle Pitts. Tampa's only losses this season have been to two of the best teams in the National Football Conference, Philadelphia and Detroit. Remaining at home, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in a favorable position. Both teams have faced offensive struggles this season. If Atlanta's running game fails to gain traction, it will force Desmond Ritter to pass more, which could lead to costly turnovers. The Buccaneers' secondary has demonstrated its ability to create turnovers, making a couple of interceptions likely. Tampa Bay is poised for a rebound after their underwhelming performance against Detroit. Tampa Bay's defense is superior and should stifle the Falcons' running game. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The trends support an under in this matchup. 
Atlanta has gone under the total in five of their six games, and Tampa has gone under in four of their five games this season. Out of a total of 11 games played between these teams, only two have surpassed the over. This is a divisional matchup between two teams ranked in the bottom seven of the league in terms of scoring. It's unlikely that either quarterback will have a breakout passing game, with Atlanta having the fourth best passing defense in the league, allowing only 179.2 passing yards per game. Both defenses have their strengths, with the Falcons adept at stopping the pass and the Buccaneers proficient at stopping the run. Neither Atlanta nor Tampa Bay has consistently scored more than 20 points this season, and both defenses have performed well. Furthermore, both teams are expected to rely heavily on running the ball, which will consume the clock. Additionally, the Bucks hold a 4-1 to one record of unders this season, while the Falcons have gone under the total in five out of six games. Given the uncertainties surrounding Desmond Ritter and Baker Mayfield, it's likely that both teams will struggle offensively, resulting in a low-scoring contest. In a divisional battle between two struggling offenses, under the projected total is our full-game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.